Okay, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's 40s World. And we're talking about this beautiful young lady and her family. If y'all don't know who she is, she is Sanya Richards Ross. And she is slated to be the new, well, the newly found peach of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They are allegedly saying she signed on for season 14 to bring the flavor. Yes, Sanya Richards Ross is supposed to be one of the new people on the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast show for season 14. Okay, Sonia uh, Richardson Ross was born February 26, 1985. She is a former Jamaican American track and field personality. Okay, now she want to take her hands in the ring of reality television. Okay, what she is slated to be doing right now is she's a commentator for the NBC Sport and entrepreneur and founder of mummy nation host of the nike ultra sound podcast and of course she's a mother okay so that's what she's doing right now and if you wanted to know how many kids she has okay they have one and his name is aaron Germ Germ jermaine ross all righty and so her well let me see no nope, that's not her that's somebody else oh, oops i lost my uh i lost my spot so y'all just stay there for one second but we're gonna do the story uh on her and aaron ross that is her spouse okay they've been married over five years so that's good that's good and that's pretty much it as far as her background that we want to get into because we really don't want to get into we're trying to figure out why she want to be on real housewives of atlanta and do she know allegedly that most of these reality shows pretty much tear up your family so i wonder 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 who who wrote the book on love but anyway that was just my side part okay but it says the real housewives of atlanta star it's being replaced with Mrs. San Richard Ross. Okay. She's supposed to be replacing not only Cynthia Bailey, but Portia Williams. Yes, because it seems like Portia Williams is still not trying to sign off on her contract yet. I don't know what she's doing. She might well go on to sign a contract and stop faking the funk. Okay, so we can get introduced to this young lady right here. Okay, but let's just get on into a little vlogging here. Uh, a story was put out by Jared Alexander. He titled it, Former Olympian Sanya Richards Ross is in talks to join the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, the track and field star turned announcer who won a gold medal in the 400, the 20. 12 Olympics is said to possibly be the next new cast mate. Okay, things are shaking up in Atlanta. According to recent reports, former Olympian Sanya Richards Ross may be in talks to joining the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, I thought you had to be an Atlantean because I don't even think she'd live here to tell you the truth. But we're going to keep watching. We're going to go on back to the article. It says the Real Housewives of Atlanta has been on a bit of a hiatus since ending season 13 boring in may that's the boring part of me it's not in the person's article since then the woman has been busy with kenya moore well i'm sorry since then the women have been busy with kenya moore joining dancing with the stars portia williams filming a spinoff series for bravo and candy burst producing a play on broadway so yes i guess they thought about that so they didn't talk about drew sador what she was doing like, okay, we had other cast members, you know, you could talk about. You know, is Cynthia coming back? Allegedly, no. Is Portia coming back? Allegedly, no. Is Sheree coming back? We hope, allegedly, no, no, to the no, no, no. Okay, that's my sidebar, not in this article. Then we go on back to the article. It says, still, they have not begun filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta just yet. Leaving fans. Okay, that's us to speculate. 
that's us again, who will be returning as Peach holders for the series. Now, according to recent reports, a cast is now taking shape for season 14. According to a report from Lovey Scott, Bravo producers are eyeing Richard Ross for a role in The Real Housewives of Atlanta. As a four-time Olympic gold medalist, Richard Ross would be a major get for the series. After moving to the U.S. At age, at age of 12 from Jamaica, she was named the National High School Female Athlete of the Year and USA Track and Field Youth Athlete of the Year in her senior year. Okay, per the Olympics website, she ended up her long wait for an individual goal in the 400 meter at the 2012 L London Olympics. Now, watching as a track, now working as a track and field announcer, she also is no stranger to reality TV. Having appeared alongside her husband, former NFL quarterback Aaron Ross, in their short lived show Sands or Sanya Glam and Go on WE TV. Okay, so she kind of know y'all. She kind of know the ins and outs about casting and being on a reality show. Because her and her husband was already on one. Now, who she may can be bringing some heat. I don't know, but she ain't a newbie to the game. So, that's good. Bravo doing their real, uh, real work research and trying to go find us some credible people out there. Okay, but that's just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says casting rumors surrounded the Real Housewives of Atlanta have circulated for some time now. With the Real Housewives of Atlanta OG Sheree Whitfield rumored to possibly make her second return to the series. Many fans were disappointed in season 13, including former producer Carlos King. King opened up to the Jasmine brand about the latest season. The girl previously reported she said that it wasn't interesting to him. I'm like, it wasn't interesting to nobody that had some sense, okay, that knew their time was precious and they wasn't going to waste it on watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta since Nene left, since Phaedra left. Hell, you could put Kim Zosiak in now, okay? It's just been dry. It has just been dry, 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 dry. It has the hair the Sahara Desert, okay? Can we say that again? Dry as the Sahara Desert. Try saying that real fast. Five, six, seven, eight times, okay? It's a tongue twister. But anyway, uh, yeah. So we don't really know what Miss Sheree Bone Carrier Whitfield, who gonna check my boo, gonna bring to the picture. Because she done been in and out, in and out, in and out. And last time we left her, she was on those joggers, spring, summer, fall. Or was that winter and spring? She didn't know when she was bringing them out. And we still have not got that She by Sheree launched yet. So I'm like, what, what could she possibly give us unless she's still dating the man that went to jail for a white collar crime? He's supposed to be out and living with her. Is he going, she going to give us some backstory on that and what transpired him uh, to do what he did? And it, it, has he repented for it? You know, I'm like, what, what's Sheree going to give us? I will, who going to check me, boo? Okay, because I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't see what she could possibly bring to the table because we don't want to see her son, Cairo. We don't want to see her other two daughters. We don't want to see her dog. We definitely don't want to see her ex. <laughs> we definitely don't want to see Whitfield. Okay, we don't want to see nothing, nothing about him. Okay, because he won his case against her in court and had Thadra Paws representing her. And that was a travesty. That was just a, a piss poor whole scenario of even having a lawyer in Thadra Paws. But anyway, going back to the article, it said um, King revealed in an interview that the women on the cast were getting too comfortable and that when he worked on the show, he would tell them, you women have a privilege to be the number one show on Bravo, especially as black women. This show is only going to be as good as the effort you put into it. I'm somebody who understands that, but I also said you sign up to do the show. So if you sign up to do it, you got to give what needs to be given. Excuse me, I had to let him out of his pen. Okay, and it says, um, King has plenty of love for the show and the women adding, I will always support the show. I love those girls. I keep in touch with 
all of them. I think whatever the audience thinks is a great session or season is up to them. Um, I'm a black man who was able to be the first black man to executive produce the show or that particular show. Of course, he got to toot his own horn. It just goes on and on and on. So she is a former Olympian star, track star, and she does extra side work or her main goal is being an entrepreneur she's a sportscaster for the track and field so she comes with some good validity and you'll be seeing a lot of upcoming olympian type uh people in that um that environment you know it's kind of be almost like giving us some of mike magic mike cynthia's husband kind of commentary where he was a sports uh, announcer or commentary or correspondent so I guess she's gonna be giving it to us from a female point of view side but I don't know if she got a stable marriage honey saying you better stay away from this real housewives of Atlanta because it's poison child you know, your husband be up there be, people done went in the street done looked up your husband path you done brought it to the streets and you're gonna be here on tabloids I mean are you ready for that smoke girl because when you get on these ratchet television shows they be looking, honey. They be looking. They be trying to find any evidence undercover, any under rock that you thought you had covered and sacred. And, and, and you know, not for nobody to partake of and bring out. Child, hope you squeak, squeaky clean. Because if you and Kenya get into it, child, Kenya be, she don't put, she be putting out all stops to get her enemy back, honey. So. Slow your roll, pump your brakes, really rethink this thing. Because once you get in the spotlight, you get in that little fishbowl. And people will come after you here and there, there and here. Especially if you don't become their fan, uh, fan favorite. So, if you got something good, you want to keep that something good. It's probably not good if you come on a Real Housewives of Atlanta. But if you got thick skin and you don't care... Nobody going in your past and trying to find up something or find something on you. Then I guess you should step on in the ring and give us what you got, girl. Take your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Yes, honey. So we'll be glad to see Miss Sanya show up and show out and see how she fits well in with the rest of the cast. Okay. And we might have to say goodbye to Cynthia. And we might have to say goodbye to Portia. But... Portia don't want that smoke from Kenya and anybody else that want to light her up on why she stole this man's husband. <laughs> why she stole that lady's husband. And then she got a grandpa at that. She didn't get nothing. You know, she, she got something that was very well used. Instead of pulling something off the lot that was just fresh off the market and ready to be beat. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's all I had, y'all. Check out the video. You like it, love it. Gotta have more of these videos. Don't hesitate. To definitely subscribe to the channel, share and like my videos. Okay, that's how we grow on this channel. That's how we get it popping. All right, but I'll see y'all next video. Y'all be breezy, like my daughter say. Bye.